Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here with you. We are going to talk this morning about stablecoin and more specially, more specifically, a stablecoin which is designed for the Polkadot community. I have two things to apologize for before starting. The first one is that you are going to see a very wordy presentation. That was not the case of the previous one, so it's a change. And the second excuse is that I'm the only thing which prevents you from going to the lunch. So please wait a little more, <laughs> a few more minutes, and you will be able to have lunch with us later. My name is Alain Paris. I am the co founder of TAL and the co founder of STAL. What are we talking about? We are talking about stablecoin. If I was asking every one of you what you are expecting from a stable coin, we probably would arrive to that kind of a requirement. A stable coin is first a token where you can store value, and that this value is stable over time. It will protect your patrimony, and it will be easy to transfer from one to, an to another. A stable coin you want a token which is regulated, but regulated for older protection, respecting privacy and, uh, and rights. You probably want uh, a stable coin which can be redeemed to fiat, that means to any kind of currency, at any moment. There's no interest in having something that you cannot exchange, even if it's protecting your value. And you will probably go for a stable coin whose issuer can prove its solvency at any time. That's answering these requirements that we designed the STAL. STAL is first in its definition uh, according to the future uh, MICA regulation. It's an asset reference, reference token. That means that this stablecoin is pegged on a basket of assets. Uh, these assets, in, a, in the case of the STAL, are five currencies and a, and a share of gold, of physical gold. The STAL is an enriched token. It's issued on a Polkadot blockchain, which have been described yesterday very well by Eli on the Logion. Uh, and it will be, you will be able to redeem the STAL, uh, the stablecoin, at any time for a TAL, which is a share of a basket. Two, two different names, two different objects, but the same uh, interest for the holder. The TAL is a stable fiat, it's in, in the real world, and the STAL is a stablecoin, it's for the, the blockchain world. STAL is a quantity restricted IRT. There's a maximum quantity of stablecoin which can be issued every day. So we will go through an order book to sort the, the issuance of, uh, of, of the STAL. And as I have already said, STAL is born from a close partnership between, the, between InfraTAL, which is the designer of the TAL, and Logion, uh, Logion Networks that you, you've been presented yesterday by Eli. First, value. You want to protect value, you want to transfer value, you want to hold value as long as possible and not losing it. The underlying asset to the STAL is the basket which is named the TAL. I've already told you that it's a basket made of currencies and physical gold. More precisely, a thousand TALs are made of 250 euros, 100 Swiss francs, 80 Singapore dollars, 1,600 rands, 18,000 uh, yens, 50 quids, 50 British pounds, and a fifth of a gold ounce, physical gold ounce. It's fixed. This basket is not uh, a relative weight asset, uh, asset basket. 
it will always be the definition of Vital, whether the gold is going up or whether the euro is disappearing, there will still be the same amount of each of these components in the basket. As this basket is composed with currencies and with gold, with gold which is coated every day at every moment, the TAL has a value at any moment. So the STAL, which is pegged to the TAL one on one, has exactly the same value. You will notice that we didn't include US dollars. It's done on purpose. Uh, we want to protect the STAL users and the TAL holders from the extraterritoriality of the American law. You all know that as soon as you use dollar in a transaction, you can be part of some suing in the States you don't know about. The basket is metastable. You can understand that by combining different, uh, different currencies, it will be more stable than any currencies uh, individually. But it has an, uh, another uh, interest. It's that the share of gold make it something, make it an asset which is appreciating over, over the time. Uh, it's due to the, uh, the refugee uh, value of gold over medium and long term. As we will see on the next slide, you will not lose money thanks to it. And last thing, I said it's a quantity restricted IRT. As there is a limited amount of gold which is purchasable on the markets, the STAL, as the TAL, cannot be as inflationary as its uh, currency components. We will not be able to multiply by 10 uh, because there was there is 10, more, 10, 10 times more euros or 10 times more uh, English pound, the number of TAL or STALs that we issue because we are restricted by gold. Let's verify what I was saying about metastability. This is uh, how the, the STAL or the TAL uh, would have behaved over the last three years. It's uh, an example of five or six different uh, currencies. How do you read that? Take the, the yellow line, which is the, the British pound. If three years ago you had bought TAL with British pounds and that today you wanted to redeem your TAL for new British pounds, you would get, in absolute number, 7% more British pounds because you have stored your value in TAL. You can see that in some cases, it's very good. For example, for the yen, for the last, uh, for the last months, uh, the yen is losing a lot, of, uh, a lot of value, so it's now a 25% appreciation of the TAL over the yen on three years. But in some cases, like the dollar, which is climbing very up, and uh, with the, the renminbi, the Chinese yuan, uh, which is pegged to the dollar in a certain way, we are back to zero. But over the three years, you have not lose money. Over five years, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, show it here, but over five years, you would have made uh, money. That means that the TAL would have been appreciated uh, against any fiat currency, sometimes very high, if you are compared to the Turkish Lira or, or the, the Argentino Peso, sometimes reasonably, like uh, even against the, the, French, the, the, the Swiss franc, where you would make a few percentage on top. So this is just to prove that as the past will not explain the future, in the past, what I've told you about metastability is true. Let's hope that it's true for the future. What about the functional features? For the technical features, it will be very, very short because Ellie explained everything yesterday with Logion. But in terms 
of philosophy. We don't want you to trust us. We are not an overbank saying we are more trustable than the other banks that you know. We want you to verify everything we do, everything we say. Thanks to Logion, every evidence of transfers of flow will be recorded, hashed, stored, and will be verifiable. During the ramp on, for example, if you want to buy stars, you will make me a wire transfer of one million British pounds. There will be a proof of this transfer. There will be the proof that this million uh, British pounds has been turned into uh, the tal basket with the exact amount. And there will be a proof that in, in front of this amount of tal, there will be as many stal minted by Logion. That is for the verification and the certification of, uh, of the flows. In terms of solvability, we want to be, well, we want to be solvable. We, <laughs> of course, we, we, we will be solvable, but you will have the right to check it regularly and frequently, at least once a quarter. And how are we going to do that? There will be just uh, a vote among the, the style stakeholders, client, customers, and so on, on a list of top tier auditing companies. And you will choose which company is going to audit for this quarter and will guarantee that you will find as many, uh, as many assets in the basket as there are stalls emitted, issued. Just one thing about the, the, the technical features uh, of, uh, of Logion. Just to remember you that the nodes in Logion are legal officers. Uh, they are decentralized, they are independent. They are not paid by us to do what they do. So their certification is really uh, of, a, of a lawful grade. In which environment are we going to operate? Well, first, Stalco, which is the name of the issuer, uh, is a Swiss-based company. So we have to be regulated by the FINMA, and uh, it will be under the, 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 DLT, uh, the DLT trading facility of the Financial Market Infrastructure Act. You already know about Logion. Uh, and the legal officers, uh, the nodes of the Logion networks, are mostly into uh, the EU zone for the moment, but we hope it's going to grow uh, further in terms of, uh, of other countries covered. It may look like we are piling proofs, uh, regulation, and all the things that we, we do not like, and the, especially in that kind of assembly. But there's a reason. Uh, stable coins are going to be the worst thing regulated in the coming months or years. All the central banks are against the concept of stable coins. They are okay when it's an algorithmic uh, st stable coins which is crashing, that's okay for, for them. But if we are designing something which is more valuable, more stable than their own currency, we will have problems. So we are piling these things since the beginning of the stall because we want it to be legal and to comply to all regulation, even the, the, the EU regulation, even the American regulation in the coming years. There's no, there's no interest in launching a stable coin at the beginning of next year and having to shut it because the regulation is going to, to change. So we are anticipated and we hope anticipated enough. What's the business model? Well, this, uh, this stable coin has, be has been designed for the Polkadot community. You will do what you want to do with it. It will be uh, available on the, on the Logion parachain. Uh, and every, anyone uh, can, whether an individual or a business, can uh, purchase and resell, and resell um, stable coins, the stall. 
how is it priced? We think we provide a superior protection for your value, for your patrimony. So we price the service of protecting uh, your, uh, your patrimony and your value. And the, the price will be a percentage fee on top of the amount of money, uh, the amount of asset that you want to protect. Uh, as the stall has a value at any moment, there's no logic to sell, uh, the, to sell the, the stall at a different value than the one that you can read on a, on a, Bloomberg, pro, on a Bloomberg prompter. So it's, uh, the, the real price of the stall is how much you are, you, you are willing to pay for this protection. That's the percentage fee on the top of it. As I said previously, there is a limited amount of style which, is, which will be issued every day. So we will have an order book where everyone is going to put its orders. How many style do I want? How much am I ready to pay for them? And then we will settle the order book at the end of, uh, of the day. Of course, by the highest bidder being served first. Nothing new under the sun. Timing, even if we know that roadmaps are not to be, <laughs> to be respected, we all hope that it will be uh, released not before uh, January 2023. There are two critical steps. One is purely regulatory with the FINMA. Uh, we have to be sure that they understand what we are doing and that they let us do it. And there is another uh, key, uh, key step, which is uh, Logion Networks being a full uh, Polkadot parachain. Let's conclude, and there will be a few questions if you are interested. Uh, I have mentioned a few names which are all looking the same. The Stal for the stablecoin, the Tal for the basket. In fact, the Stal is the crypto declination of the TAL ecosystem. The TAL ecosystem is the stable fiat. That means that it's not a token, it's not on a, on a, on a blockchain, it's in the real world, uh, and it behaves like any currency uh, being handled by any kind of bank. The STAL is the crypto declination, it's the token, it's what is minted and burnt uh, by, the, by the Polkadot blockchain. Why did we go in this TAL uh, ecosystem direction? We think that everyone should, get, should take back the control of its cash. And when I say everyone, I'm not only speaking of individuals, but, all, but also for, uh, for businesses. Right now, your cash belongs to your bank or your banks. Your bank, it's very bad. Your banks, it's not, not, much, not much better. So we want to provide you a solution to take out of the bank uh, your cash, trans transfer it, change it into a metastable basket, being sure that the, uh, your patrimony in, abs in, in relative term over the planet is stable, and not because your patrimony is in euro in the last six months you have, you have lost 10% of your uh, ability to act or to purchase outside of the Eurozone. So we want everyone to take back control of its cash, and we want, we want to protect this cash, protect this patrimony, and we want to give back the full freedom of acting to the people who, who will uh, go with us. What we aim at is, in fact, the best of two worlds the best of the traditional financing world. I know I'm not going to be very popular when I say that there are good things in the traditional banking systems, but sometimes there are. Uh, but we don't want to take all the abuses which are piled up by the banks right now, and we want the best of the blockchain world, but without it, its extreme volatility. Volatility, value, what you are creating in the, on the blockchain, uh, it's up to you. Sometimes you have to brief, you have to 
to, to settle uh, the value you have created, and we are here to provide you the way to protect this value that you have created. We defend uh, digital democracy. I have talking about, I've talked, sorry, about the transparency during the, 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 the order book, the transparency for the votes of the auditing uh, body. Uh, I didn't tell you that Vital is, uh, is run by a, a, a Swiss cooperative, one man, one vote, one woman, one vote, two. Uh, and this digital democracy it's difficult to find it between the digital uh, anarchy and the digital dictatorship, which are the, the two ways that uh, things can derail. We, we, are very kind, uh, we are very fond of respecting ethics because we really think that in, in ethics, size matters. And we are very proud that the STAL is released for the Polkadot community because we are pretty sure that creative as you are, you will make the best of it. Thank you for listening, and I'm willing to answer any question. Okay, merci. Thank you very much, uh, Anna. Thank you, I really appreciate the, the effort you're, you've been through to uh, be compliant with the Stablecoin initiative. Um, I wonder when it comes to adoption in the crypto space, especially you have a number of actors like exchanges and, and other uh, entities that probably don't achieve the same level of compliance. Does this pose a problem for an initiative like yours that is fully compliant to interact with these entities and have your stablecoin used by them? Well, you've put your finger where it hurts. Uh, it's true. Compliance to regulations and regulations which are evolving everywhere differ differently from another place, that's difficult. Uh, we chose to operate from Switzerland because we think Switzerland are more reasonable people when, it, it, when we are talking about regulating. Uh, historically speaking, regulation was made to protect customers from the banks everywhere on the planet. That's why there are regulations. Okay, for the last 10 years, regulations are made to protect banks from new entrants. So uh, we have to navigate there. We have to be compliant with the regulatory body, and, but we have to keep what we think about getting things private, uh, all the privacy and the, and the personal rights. Uh, when it comes to the stable coin, there may be restriction, geographical area by geographical area, and we don't know. We will start st selling stall, and we, we will accept being paid by dollars to buy stall, even if we don't put dollars into our basket. But do we know if we will be able to do it for one year, two years, three years before we are, stepped, we are stopped? We don't know. That's the same stuff with all geographical zones. Probably at one moment, there will be the need of establishing a real company in that, in that area, in that zone, which is compliant with the local authority just because we are selling directly to its citizen. Even if we didn't uh, sell to the citizen, but just the citizen discovered that the style exists and wants to buy some, uh, that's passive uh, solicitation. But we all know that you cannot argue with a regulatory body if he wants to stop you. <laughs> Thanks uh, for your words, it was very interesting. And now I just ask myself, do you have any objective to also um, put your stable coin in this norm, you know, ISO 222? Because you are talking about Mika, you also say that per day they have some amount of uh, uh, transaction that you cannot overdid. But what about Mika 222? Uh, not, not Mika, I mean ISO. Well, I'm not, I'm not that familiar with ISO. Uh, the way we solve this kind of questions is by the design of, uh, of, uh, of a stable coin and of a, of a stall. We took the hard way. 
we decided that it will be pegged one on one, that the money which is stored is not going to be invested, that we will not make money out of your money. So we, we have a way of behaving which is much, much more uh, ethic, ethical than any bank or any uh, financial institution which is regulated in the world. Will it be enough for every regulation? Probably. Will it take time to prove to the regulatory body that the way we have designed the style is very, very compliant with what, with what they are asking for? Yes, it will take time, and maybe in some cases they will prevent us from selling during months. We have to adapt, but we are not doing that for two years or three years. That's really the tip of the iceberg. We really think that through the TAL and the STAL, uh, we are creating a new central bank, uh, a private central bank, f with full reserves. So it's going to take time, it's going to be hard, but we think we will do everything to succeed, and we, we count on you to help us. Thank you very much, Alain.